Hey everybody, Mad Matt with Mad Matt's Adventure Days. Just want to film just one more little segment today about uh, saying thank you to all the people who've seen my video so far, and even all my subscribers. Thank you very much. Uh, I can't wait every day I come home to look to see how many more people have watched my videos. So, and I'll keep pumping them out if you guys keep watching them. So, if you have any suggestions for me, ideas. Uh, you want to come join me on a review? There's all kinds of adventures we can do, so stick with me. I'll get better and better as we go along. But, uh, hope you're having a little fun doing the silly videos that I like to do, so. Anyway, how about we do one? Let's do something, let's call it, um, well, some guys I watch videos of, Colt Moo, they uh, do a thing called It Came From a Box. So it's kind of like that. But let's just do a thing called Reheating because I'm hungry. Anyway, I got some French bread pizzas. Let's see how they come out. Red Baron single French bread pizzas. Three meat. Mmm, doesn't sound too shabby. Let's see. It's possible to open and film at the same time. Hmm. All of the meat. <laughs> and one spot in the middle. I guess I'll spread it around. And they're also in the package upside down, too. Well, maybe I opened the back side. How about that? Well, let's see what the instructions say. Preheat oven to 375. Let's see. Bake. Hmm. Is it 375? Start. Now we gotta put this thing in here. Let's see. Let me pause it here for a second. Sorry for the weird camera angle, but it is what it is. Let's open these suckers up. I got the oven preheating at 375 as we speak. They have a recipe on there that's a way to do it with the microwave it makes it a lot less time. But I like it when it's done crunchy on the outside. So let's just kind of do a better job than they did. That looks like a pretty good ratio. And I'll put that one right there. Sweet. And again, we'll have to uh, arrange some pepperoni a little more strategically. As you can see, these Red Baron single pizzas are about, oops, that was the dumbest thing ever, huh? These guys are about 7 inches long, 8 inches long, maybe a little longer, I don't know. And enough pizza toppings on there to cover that many bites, I guess, so. I know you heard me say in other videos I don't eat cheese. Well, pizza is the only thing I make a kind of exception for. Because it's mozzarella cheese. Mozzarella doesn't really have any taste for one thing. And two, you can't really have pizza. It kind of acts like the glue to hold the toppings on. So if I didn't have it, that'd all fall off. So 
I suck it up and eat something I don't normally like to eat just for the fact that it's something the finished product is something I like to eat so anyway still preheating get back to you when the uh, they're going in the oven while I'm waiting for the oven to heat up I want to talk about my channel a little bit with everybody uh, seems like all my videos so far have been beer and food reviews and I like to do that a lot and there's gonna be a lot of those but that's not the only kind of adventures I want to have I have a Jeep so it's winter right now I can't really do some of the mountain stuff I want to do but we're gonna go up in the mountains this year we're going to go camping we're going to see beautiful things we're going to eat good foods we're going to drink good drinks and we're going to laugh and have fun and have adventurous days so I hope everybody comes along with me on this journey it's going to get better I promise I keep saying that I should probably stop saying that because you'll see it getting better every single day so in the meantime I'm still waiting for that stupid oven to heat up nope still no ding so still waiting okay we're at 375 so according to the box we are supposed to place them in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes let's do it right, dead center It was 22, 25, we're going to go with 23. And start. Okay, she's done. Let's take a look. Ooh, hot stuff. good. I say you're supposed to let them rest for two or three minutes before you eat it. I would too because they look scorching hot. But Mmm! The pepperoni does smell pretty good on them. I'll give them that. Red Baron always seems to do good pizzas. So let's go uh, wait two minutes and then we'll come back and have some. All right, let's have a taste here. So, here we go. We got our two pizzas here. Start with this one. The smell is very porky. Like, I can smell the pepperoni. Uh, the cheese is light, which I like. And the crust is kind of hard. Let's let's go into it here. Let's go for the crunch cam. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> We're gonna drink the orange juice here. Tastes pretty good. Hmm, now it's time to rate these. Well, the cooking was pretty easy. All I had to do is turn on the oven and put them in there for about 20 some minutes, 20 some odd minutes, and pretty good. Um, the crust is a little dry. The pepperonis are nice, but I wish they were thicker. They're kind of almost see through. Now, overall, it's a little bit dry. Maybe I could have cooked it a little bit less, or maybe I should try the microwave way of doing it first. But uh, anyway, it's not too bad. Let me go for one more big bite here. Hmm. I'm 
going to give these a 7. Um, 7 out of 10. They're good. They fill the hole when you need it. But it's not really something you want to tell people about. Like, oh my gosh, I had some French bread pizzas. But when you need them, they will fill the spot. 7 out of 10, it's not too bad, not too good, uh, but just another little quick video, I wanted to say hi to everybody, and again, thank you to all my subscribers, if you like it, give me a thumbs up, if you don't like it, give me a thumbs down, comment, subscribe, share it with your friends, share it with your enemies if you hate it, but uh, anyway, this is Mad Matt from Mad Matt's Adventure Day signing off, and I will see you on my next adventure. Now I'm going to eat some more.